faces, not just around the station, but certainly around the city and beyond. Carlos and Mel Arredondo here to remind us of their mission to empower military families in the prevention of military-related suicides and to care for the families of the fallen. And it's so great to have you both back on, on set here with us. Uh, let's start with this past week. You spent a better part of the week leading up to Thanksgiving uh, giving back to these, these families with the turkeys. What did you take away from that experience? Um, wow. Well, there was a lot of gratitude, I'll tell you that. It's so much so that there have been people writing in, calling in, uh, leaving comments about how grateful they were and what a nice experience it was um, and how they really needed the birds. They're, they're, it, it can be challenging um, among families of the fallen veterans. Not everybody is economically in the best place. Um, mm -hmm. Those who are currently serving, there are those who are, you know, E2s, E1s, the, the lower class, et cetera, and uh, they, they don't earn as much. Then there are veterans who go through so much. And the, the different military families and families of the fallen, you know, it's not, it's not a rosy picture for everyone. Sure. And also difficult just the time of, of year. We talked about just how the holidays, we always associate them with a, being a joyful time, but it can take a toll on, on families, you were saying. Yes, yes. Um, Especially if this is your first or second year without your loved one who you may have lost to suicide or to other reasons. Um, that can be overwhelming. You definitely feel that empty chair. Um, and for us, it's two empty chairs. And uh, it, it can, it, I was telling you a little bit personally off camera that it, it's been a little challenging this year. And so, I mean, knowing that that pain of, of tragedy, loss, grief more than, than most, I mean, what, what do you say? To these families who, you know, may have recently lost someone or are just going through this, trying to cope. Well, you know, we work in as, as, as best as we can, mm -hmm. but you know, we, ha we have good people who really want to help. We have uh, sponsors who are really willing to make a difference, as well many volunteers. So they inspire us as well to do something for the community and participating, also honor these people as well. You know, it's a healing process for us, sure. but at the same time, you know, we're making a difference. It's a team together. When you have these conversations or these interactions with, with the families, what, what is your central message that you want them to walk away with based on your experience? Well, you know, when the event is happening, you know, pretty much we're there, you know, to, to be grateful for the service, you know, not just the men or women who serve, but for the whole family. So we always, we always there to let them know if there's anything we can do. You know, we can provide more information with other foundations and on and on and on. When you talk about uh, military-related suicide, what, what have you found is perhaps the, the root of the issue, the, the central, the core issue, and what is being done to, to tackle it? Well, in order to prevent them, I think the general public does not know the science. Hmm. Uh, and that includes the general public of the military family community. Um, and, and so that's part of the reason why we offer uh, a one-hour free suicide prevention uh, training to anyone in Massachusetts. And uh, by learning the signs, we're better able to notice and allow people to converse with us around things that are hurting their heart and putting them in a bad place. And then being able to get them to the appropriate personnel to help them and intervene. And, and uh, it's really important. Uh, just really, let me tell you, when I, it, at times I say to them, you know, the conversation is important. But when I say the conversation, I mean the listening part. Sure. Because when people unburden themselves, you can't interrupt the process. You need to just keep your ears open and your heart open. That is a beautiful message to, to start a Saturday, I'll tell you that. A multifaceted foundation, the work you guys are doing as well. So for anyone who wants to contribute or volunteer, where, uh, where should they, they go to look? They should go to arredondofoundation.org. Now, the hard part is how to spell arredondo, so I'm <laughs> sure you guys will put up the correct spelling somewhere. And there it is right there on cue. You <laughs> called it there. I cannot thank you both enough for your time. Thank you. God bless. Happy morning. holidays. You too, my friend. A real thank pleasure. You so much. Take care. <laughs>